Welcome to One on One. Today we feature Staff Sergeant Craig Charlu, President Bush's guest at his last State of the Union address. Listen in as he talks to Carrie McElroy. How do you feel to have been chosen as the honored guest to represent the U.S. Army at the State of the Union address? Uh, being chosen to, to represent the U.S. Army at the State of the Union address has, has been an honor. Um, it's uh, been a chance of a lifetime. Tell me a little bit about last night's events and how that went for you. Last night's events uh, were started out with a reception at the White House, and we had dinner, and there was music, and uh, meeting lots of folks, and a lot of people glad to see that the 1st Cav Division was represented at the White House. Uh, had a lot of folks come up and, and tell me that they were glad to see the 1st Cav patch there. Um, then we were whisked away in a motorcade with lights and siren and, and the whole works to the, the Capitol, where we... Uh, with uh, that right behind the first lady and uh, daughters, uh, Jenna and Barbara, and watched the State of the Union dress. And uh, afterwards, we came back and uh, picked up our wives, and that was at the end of the night. I saw you, and I, I made a particular note of seeing you with um, Senator Dole after they introduced uh, he and uh, Ms. Shalala, and he kind of uh -huh. gave a, you know, a finger to you, kind of like a thumbs up kind of thing to you. Uh, what did uh -huh. you think about that? Uh, just, I've, I'm just growing up and seeing uh, Senator Dole so often involved in uh, in the gov every bit of pieces of government. Uh, I just I knew him by television and paper uh, pretty well, and uh, it was just uh, unbelievable to be sitting right in front of him and right behind the first lady, and uh, being in the same room with the commander in chief. And you mentioned um, people noticing the first CAV patch, and um, tell me about some of the people you met and what they said to you. Some of the folks that, that I met that commented on the first CAV patch were, uh, I met a general that that served with 1-7. Uh, uh, I met um, the uh, Surgeon General. He used to be uh, a soldier uh was in the Army for 38 years and uh, just was glad to see the, the first cab patch represented there at the, at the White House. So different folks that have, had, had been in the Army or are in the Army or had been with first cab and uh, saw the patch there and were delighted to see it at the White House. Did you actually get to meet and speak with the President or the First Lady? I was able to, to uh, shake the President's hand and have a uh, picture opportunity. It was uh, very brief, um, but still... Uh, very honored to, to, to be bestowed that uh, opportunity. Um, he was just, he just said uh, very briefly, he said uh, he loves his uh, men in uniform and, uh, and shook my hand and he said, let's take a picture. And we took the picture and, and off I went. And um, can you tell me a little bit about what it means to you to be a soldier? Being a soldier to me is, uh, brings a lot of pride. Um, it, gives me a sense of belonging, um, and uh, it, makes, it lets me give, give back to the, to the great country that we all live in. Uh, initially, I joined the Army uh, right out of high school. Um, did, you know, patriotic thing you need to do after school, and, uh, and then uh, I ETS and took a, a, quite a, a long break and uh, came back after... Well, in 2004, I arranged to get back to active duty in 2005. Um, just a sense of duty and uh, feeling a, a bit homesick for the Army and wanting to come and, and do my part for the, for the country and its efforts. You've been listening to a one-on-one -on -one with Staff Sergeant Craig Charlu, President Bush's guest at his last State of the Union address.